your project was brought to St. Catharines, sponsored by the YWCA. Mm -hmm. And uh, last week we actually had um, a guest from the YWCA here speaking about the the, the week without violence, and uh, they had a, a conference for girls, the power of being a girl. And I know that you were a guest there, that you were the featured uh, speaker and doing a workshop with the girls. Can you talk a little bit about what that was like for you? It was absolutely fantastic. Exhausting, I have to admit. There were over 300 grade seven and eight girls there. Each table had one of the member of staff from their school, as well as all the YWCA staff were there. And to be honest, I was the only speaker and normally I'm a keynote or I give an interactive workshop, but I was blessed by giving the whole day five hours with the girls. It was completely interactive. We started out by looking at the fact that we don't have a role model in our society. So who do we use as a role model? What are we using to compare our bodies to? And the girls intellectually know that a socially created image, as in the media or the diet and fashion and cosmetic industry, is not a healthy image. But emotionally, they internalize the desire to change. We all do. As you said earlier, there is a strong link between our identity and self-worth and our physical appearance. And that's the link I'm trying to break, that there doesn't need to be. Our bodies have changed since day one, and they will continue to change. At the girls' conference, to highlight that, we looked at the influences, the messages we get about how we should look, or at least how we should feel about how we look. And then we led on to interactive individuals. How do they get affected by these influences? Because, of course, we can't blame any one influence and we can't say that they're the one impacting all of us. We all receive messages differently. And the girls proved that. But I have to say, with the work that we did, they all highlighted that family and friends were their biggest influence, both positive and negative, but especially on the positive. They were the ones that are making a difference in the girls' lives and how they perceive their bodies to be. We finished off the conference at the end of five hours with a wonderful art project where they all created a mirror so they can look in that mirror as a way of self-reflection, both from a physical point of view, but also the mirror frame was covered in testimonials as well as messages to themselves, positive ones, that were all beautiful and we're naturally beautiful and that's what we should be celebrating for a healthy lifestyle.